What's up everybody? I'm back after like 14 million years and I've got a video for you. So I bought a whole bunch of stuff on Black Friday because that's what people do. But most of the stuff was makeup because I needed a lot of new makeup or like my daily wears that I was running out of anyway. And since I could get it on sale, why not? So within like the last week, I got a couple boxes and they're all in this one big Sephora box. You can't tell it's Sephora and it's amazing. Sugar Pill took like more than 10 days to get my stuff out, but they didn't send everyone an email saying that like they're going to start shipping their stuff out late because they were like swamped with orders on Black Friday, which I totally understand because they had a sale on literally everything. Like half the stuff I got was like 70% off and it was totally worth it, so why not? So first of all, I got a whole bunch of stuff from Sugar Pill. A lot of it is actually Christmas gifts for my friends. Um, anything that I got them, I might have gotten myself because I'm jealous and I really want to try out a lot of new sugar pill items. The box, and I'll show you what's in here. First of all, I got their 2015 Loose Eyeshadow Collection, which I think they're going to stop selling soon because it's December and I think they're running low on stock as well. But I got this for like 60 or 70% off and I had been looking forward to buying it for myself for Christmas anyway, so even though I bought it for myself as a Christmas gift, I kind of used some of them today, but shh, don't tell Calliope. I've got the Strangel Strangeling, which is like kind of a nice purpley color. I'll do a zoom in on this later, but that's actually the one that I used today. It's a very like pigmented, glittery purple. Uh, that's one of the things that I like about Sugar Pill so much is that like everything they have is just so sparkly. I got Grand Tiara, Tiara which is a silvery color which I also use today because I am impatient and I wanted to try it out. I put it in the corner of my eye so I'm not exactly sure if you can see it. It's like truly silver and metallic and awesome. I'm not gonna tell you all the rest of the colors but you should go check it out. Also I got their plus pressed eyeshadow in bulletproof. It's their black eyeshadow and it's actually not sparkly, it's matte. I actually got this one for a friend. So I got her this gift. It's tiny, but I think tiny gifts are worth it, especially when it's like this much brought up. Finally, I got the Sparkle Baby palette, which is also another thing that I've been wanting for a while. I got the same friend who I got the black eyeshadow, the Sparkle Baby palette as well. But I love it because look at the pastels! It's amazing and pastel and I'm pretty sure I'm shining light from the mirror directly into my camera right now. It's got Kitten Parade, which is kind of a blushy color. I had to add that to my collection. Frostbite, which is lavender, and lavender is amazing. Let's just, just appreciate the lavender. Candy Crush, which is a very sparkly pale blue, but Totsy Totsy. Can't pronounce that. Hotsy Totsy is a fuchsia-ish pink and I like it but I think that it's probably the color I'm going to use the least because I don't really go for those deep pigmented pinks. I like pale pinks but then I like the rest of my colors bright. I don't know why. I'm weird. The box is also super pretty. The metallic and has cats on it and cats are amazing. And of course, since I got it from Sugar Pill, I got a little Sugar Pill sticker that I'll add to my sticker collection because yeah, I collect stickers. I'm a nerd like that. Everything came safe and sound, even though it did come a little late, but they warned us about that, so I'm perfectly fine with it. And I'll probably reuse this box to hold some of my other crap that I have too much crap for. Maybe makeup. Who knows? Another company that I decided to try out, which I had been looking at for a while, is LA Splash Cosmetics. All they do is like liquid lipsticks and I think eyeshadows and they're starting false eyelashes. But I was talking to my friend looking for a Christmas gift for this specific friend and I thought I found a gold lipstick. But then I looked at it and it was actually like this weird shimmer thing you put on top of your lipstick and not a gold lipstick. But after I had had the idea of a metallic gold lipstick, I was like, well, I need to find one of those and own it for myself and maybe get my friend that as well. So I went around looking for a gold lipstick until I finally asked my friend because she also knows makeup really well. I asked her if she knew a gold lipstick and she showed me LA Splash. 
so I got her one and I got myself five because I'm selfish. Instead of being $14, they were all $10 for Black Friday. $14 is pretty cheap for some liquid lipstick anyway, so I got really excited. As well as the liquid lipsticks, I got a pair of lashes to go with it and you can never have enough lashes. So I'm happy to get some free lashes. I think it was like after I bought four or five lipsticks, like this just was automatically in my cart for free. So I'm happy with it. Free stuff is great, especially on Black Friday, because then you can feel like one of those moms that runs into Walmart and steals everything and then runs over a kid probably. But you know, it's okay because it's in the Christmas spirit. So the one that I got my friend, who I'm not going to tell you her name because I'm pretty sure she's watching this video right now. I know you, you like my videos. But so this one is Severo, Severo, I don't know. It's, they have really weird names. Most of them that are, um, I think, Latin based, like Spanish and Italian and French. And I don't speak any of those languages. So my pronunciation is gonna be completely horrible. This color is from their Smitten Lip Tint Mousse collection. They have 60 colors in each one of their collections and have like four collections. But I really like this and she really likes like a naturally colored lipstick. Another color that I got from the Smitten Collection is Raven, which is this like dark brownish burgundy color, which I needed a lipstick about this color. I have a lot of reds and a lot of pinks, but I don't have like the dark maroon colors that like make you look mature and professional. And I want to look mature and professional. Color. Venom, which is black, and I'm also wearing it right now. And I wanted to get a new liquid black lipstick because I was running out of my old one and I was using like my super old Manic Panic black lipstick that isn't matte and kind of rubs off super easily. And I tried it out today and I'm wearing it because I'm impatient and I really like it. And it dried like within 15 seconds and it was amazing. Only thing is that it kind of smelled like black licorice when I put it on my lips, which makes me think that all of these are scented. And I really hate the way that black licorice smells and tastes. So kind of when I was putting it on, I was just kind of like, eee, this is disgusting. But I no longer smell it. I'm not going to try to taste my lips. And it looks good. So I'm going to put up with it. I have to admit, like when putting on the lipstick, it was really kind of sticky as soon as I put it on. But it dried so quickly that I really didn't mind. It kind of reminded me more of licorice, which I kind of don't like licorice, but whatever. From their Studio Shine collection, which I think all of them were like Dia de los Muertos related or something like that. Because look at how pretty. I think they're all Dia de los Muertos related or something like that because if you look at how pretty their cases are, it's really nice and all of their colors have like Mexican names to them. This is Guadalupe, which is that gold lipstick I was talking about towards the beginning of this. And I'm kind of a little disappointed because it's not actually gold, it's more of a bronze color even though it looked like gold of a stock photo. But I still think it's really pretty and it's super metallic. And my last thing from LA Splash is... Cantina, which is also from their um, Studio Shine collection, and I don't know if you can see this, but this is like a brown-ish, grayish color, but then it shines this like really awesome fluorescent turquoise blue. It's kind of like the candy coating on a car where like you look at it from a different direction, it's a different color, and it's like really cool, and I've never seen a lipstick that has that effect to it. So I think that my favorite color in here is actually Cantina, even though I definitely love Venom just because I need a black lipstick and I love black lipstick and I wear it like probably at least twice a week while I wear the rest of my colors, like maybe like twice a month, but I might wear this more often because it's really cool. If you guys want me to do uh, an actual review of LA Slash, just go ahead and request it in the comments or send me a message or something because... I haven't swatched any of things, any of this yet, even though I plan to, and I can do an in-depth review if you want one. I ordered from Sephora like a week before Black Friday, but none of my stuff came in, and like the order di apparently didn't go in, and it didn't show up on my bank account, even though like I put in the order and it gave me confirmation and everything, and hopefully they don't like charge me a month later. Ordered the first time, I used my Beauty Insider code, and I got 
a bag full of samples, which is this bag right here. But then also, with the December and Black Friday promotion, I got more samples, like a good 20 samples out of this. Only issue is that most of them are perfumes and foundations, which, I mean, they're a light foundation and I'm black. So most of them aren't going to fit me and I tried to even contour with one of them like using it as a highlight and it just made me look ghastly. So I can't really do that. So I've got a whole bunch of like white foundations in here that aren't going to help me at all. And then perfumes. I'm allergic to a lot of perfumes. Like I'm allergic to sunscreen and I can't use a lot of Bath and Body Works items. So I'm kind of afraid to open any of these and smell them in case I might like sneeze everywhere and be really gross. I did get like a whole bunch of samples. I did get um, samples for Ole Henriksen, which I'm going to talk about in a little bit, and I love their products, but I own all three of the things in here, so it's, it's useless. And I got two promotional deals, and neither one of them worked. The only thing that was really worth it is like this cute little Sephora bag, which I always need more makeup bags because I have so much makeup. Like I said before, I really like Ole Henriksen. I have a lot of hyperpigmentation from my acne when I had acne, and I still get acne occasionally. And Ole Henriksen is like specifically made to help out with hyperpigmentation. At first I used their like, their basically this set, but smaller. I used that and I got it in I think June, and it lasted me until like literally today I used the last pump of the cleanser. So I had to finally break down and buy their $70, $40, whatever it is, dollar big set. And this is probably going to last me a good year because their bottle of cleanser, I haven't finished the rest of these yet, but their bottle of cleanser, which I used every morning and every night before I went to go to bed, lasted me like three or four months. So getting the bottle that's like three times as big is probably going to last me. I love Ole Henriksen. You should check them out. And all their stuff smells like fruit. And fruit is great. I'd be eating that much fruit, but I have it on my face and it totally helps out with collagen or something like that. I also got the Too Faced Sweetheart Blush, which I love a whole lot. And I um, have been wanting one of the Too Faced blushes for forever. It's a whole lot of product and I love blush and I use it a whole lot. So I thought that it'd be great to get one like this. I'm kind of afraid that since I'm always losing things, I'm going to lose this before I hit 10. But I'm going to try my best not to lose it. I've been keeping it in the box and keeping it like where all my like daily use makeup is to make sure I don't lose it. This is the Perfect Berry Blush. And I got this one because it felt, I felt like it had the most like different colors in there so I could change what I wanted to put on my face. These are the two that I was using today where um, I just did a more lighter blush, but when I use this like really berry pink blush, it's super bright and it kind of brightens and like makes my whole face just really poppy and happy. I use a whole lot of blush and it's really good for blush. It's nice blush, okay? I like this. It's great. All of these items are great. I love them all. This is why I bought them, because I knew I would love them. Okay, something that I can't really show you that much of because they're in my eyes right now. I got an order from Unixo, which is also something that I was planning on buying and just happened to be on sale and I was like, yes! I got like five pairs of circle lenses for a pretty good price. It was because all of my circle lenses were expiring really soon anyway, so I decided to get them. I got gray, red, pink, green, and blue. And brown so I got six some of them are for Lolita but a lot of them are like for some specific cosplays that I either plan on doing or have done and I needed to renew them because all of my contact lenses I just like I did this time I bought them all at once so they are all expiring like within the next month or so I got um, a couple cases from eBay to go with them and this is because I've noticed that like the cheap free cases that come with Unixo lenses they um, like, this has happened like a good three or four times too. Whenever I put my lenses in there and I don't go back to them for like a good two or three weeks or something like that, the contact solution isn't in there anymore and there's like little salt crystals in there. And for some reason the contact solution always just evaporates somehow, which doesn't happen with the rest of my contact cases. I've used different contact solutions before, I've made sure to keep them upright so it isn't like seeping out. So I guess the contact cases aren't airtight for some reason. So 
even though they're really cute contact cases, I definitely suggest that if you can get circle lenses from Unixo, don't use the free case that comes with there. Then buy lens cases from somewhere else or like their cases that come, like you can buy them for like a dollar or two. Because it's not worth it getting their super cheap lenses cases and you'll, you'll lose your favorite pair of pink circle lenses and not be able to cosplay the specific character at a specific con. And it will be upsetting. Finally, for me, so I got these um, fake lashes because you can never have enough fake lashes. And these were like one or two dollars each, so I decided to try them out. And I think they were like two fifty. Don't let me lie to you. I'm pretty sure they were two fifty. But um, they're really cute. Since they're only like two or three dollars, I might buy a couple more pairs of them to add to my collection. So I'm pretty sure that's everything that I have gotten. Um, got a couple other things on Black Friday, but they aren't makeup, and I just wanted to show you like all the makeup that I bought. I hope you liked my makeup haul and got to see how much money I blew on Black Friday because gifts, and I love my friends, but also I love myself, and I love makeup, and yes! Anyway, um, I hope you liked my video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and watch my next one because I'm planning on recording a whole bunch of videos today, so you'll get to see the same face over and over. See you soon!